Hey, baby, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said anything about that woo-woo stuff unless I was sure that there was a match for Shane. I am so sorry about that. No. I am. If you knew anything about a donor, you'd tell me. You'd do anything to save Shane's life. I'm gonna get some coffee. You want some? Sure. Listen, do exactly as I say. Give me that. Why? Because your invalid pal John Doe here is a match for Shane. It says so. Why? I thought you didn't want anybody to know who John Doe was. Especially Rex, right? Yeah, but this could save Shane. Uh-huh, and it could also blow your secret. Rex will find out you've been lying to him big time all along. I just want to save my grandkid. Yeah, don't worry, he'll be all right. I'll take care of that. Just what are you gonna do? We'll say that I'm the match. Stacy, I'm, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but if you don't help Shane, he could die, and I can't believe you'd let that happen. Well, you should have been a little nicer to me, sis. Oh my, this is unbelievable! We're not talking about a sweater that I borrowed from you and ruined. No, just my life. Oh, God. Let me make it up to you, okay? I'll do anything. Just don't take it out on Shane. He's, he's your flesh and blood. You can't just let him die, can you? No, actually, I don't want Shane to die. In addition to the lack of supervision, the children are living in a home that was given by Dr. Lord to a stranger who now lives with them, one Maury Stubbs. Sean, do we really have to do this? Yes, Take we do. Take one more do. step towards that boy, I will torch you like my best brulee. Okay. Why haven't you gone back to Texas, you hasty? This here's my house. Somebody got in and stabbed poor Blair. Folks are saying it was you. Oh, well, those folks are about as dumb as you are. I didn't try to stab Blair. And this isn't really your house, is it? Dorian gave it to me. I got papers and everything. Well, and you don't think she's trying to get it back? Look for an opportunity to boot you out? Oh, she and I may have our differences. But an enemy of her family is an enemy of mine. Also living with the children is another unsuitable person, a man named Ray Montez, a former convict and illegal alien. Got some kind of a problem here, Mo? My mom would never hire you to be my lawyer. She hates you. She also wants what's best for you, and that's me. That's crap. Give us a minute, Jeff. Todd Manning held my mom hostage. And you got all the charges dropped against him. Which is exactly why your mother wants me to work on this case. If I can keep someone like Todd from going to prison, I can do that for a good kid like you, Cole. That's right. You're still a good kid. You made a mistake, okay? It was a terrible mistake, but it was a mistake. You wanna spend the rest of your life in prison for it? It's your call, Cole. Okay, Dee, what's, what's this killer trying to say? Serial killers usually keep leaving their calling cards until someone figures them out. Are you saying he intends to kill again? He could. Well, it's, it, it's about me. It's Todd. Both, both of us. John, you said all along you thought it was Todd. Doesn't this make it seem even more possible that he's the killer? Therefore, Todd Manning is petitioning for an emergency custody hearing to place Star, Jack, and Sam Manning temporarily in their father's care. I know exactly who put this in Todd's head. I don't deserve a life. 
I took a load of pills before I got behind the wheel of a car. I wrecked my friend's life. You told Matthew to get out of the car, from what I understand. He refused. I should have made him do it! I should have made I was like his big brother. Nora trusted me to look out for him. She was like a mom to me when I thought I didn't have a mom. And this is how I repay her. Cole, listen to me. The fact that you feel remorseful, that speaks to the kind of person you are. It does not mean that you should spend the rest of your life in prison. Why not? Why not? Huh? The kid is never gonna walk again because of me. Todd thought he deserved to suffer too. He did. He knew exactly what he was doing to my mom. Just like I. But you, you what? You didn't know what you were doing. You didn't have the faculties to make the best judgment call. Yeah, you were wrong to take drugs, Cole. But what happened to Matthew was an accident. Sorry. Hello? I am going to get you disbarred. Who is this? How dare you? Helping Todd. Take those children from my niece when she's fighting for her life. Have you no decency at all? Dorian? W wait, Todd is going for custody of the kids? As if you didn't know. I didn't know. Don't play innocent with me. Listen to me, Dorian. I'm not the bad guy this time. Go harass Todd's new lawyer. I don't represent him anymore. You don't work for Todd? Not anymore. Why not? <clears throat> uh, Jack, I just came to tell you that all the charges against me were dropped. I'm not going to jail again. And I'm working on getting custody. And when it's official, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take you and your brother and star home with me. OK? We're going to be together again, buddy. Family. And nothing's gonna keep me away from you. Nothing, not ever. Well, at least it's only temporary custody. It's a foot in the door. What are we gonna do, Dory? We can't let Todd have the children. And what about Blair? When she finds out, what is this gonna do to her? What's going on with Mom? She's the same. Well, then what's wrong? We have to tell her, Dory. It's about her. You're right. What is it? Your father is trying to get temporary custody of you and your brothers. OK, let's go over that. Todd had motive for wanting Halpern dead. She was going to testify against him. He was jealous of Granger and the two of you living together. And he had a big fight with Blair because she was keeping him from his kids. So you think he started killing people because of all that? Either he's doing it or someone wants people to think he's doing it. Well, either way, it's because of me. None of this has anything to do with you. Nothing? None of it? Come on, it's all about me. I want to help you. Let's do this together. I knew it. I, I knew. You couldn't let Shane die. <laughs> I'm not heartless. I know, I know that. And I'm really sorry for everything I did. But once Shane's better, we'll start over, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, I owe you big. I know. Look, I I'll help Shane. But there's a condition. 